It's Black History Month, and I'm ashamed to say that I already failed it. But I want to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. The first thing I did wrong was being self-reliant. According to the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture, self-reliance and being in control of my environment are hallmarks of something called rugged individualism. And unfortunately, rugged individualism is a well-known hallmark of whiteness. I'm so embarrassed but it gets worse. I, excuse me, I have a traditional nuclear family. I know, I know. I thought that was normal too, but I couldn't believe it when the NMAAHC said that was an aspect of whiteness too. Guess I should start planning a trip to my convenience store to get some milk and Newports before abandoning my family. At first, I used rational linear thinking to question what I was thinking. I tried to make sense of it with a quantitative emphasis. But, of course, those things are also rooted in whiteness, so I had to stop doing them immediately. Remembering to stop doing so many things really started to feel like hard work, until I researched further and discovered that working hard was also a facet of whiteness. So I'm not going to be doing any more of that. I'm so oppressed, you guys. Believe it or not, my life is just as hard as the lives of civil rights activists. Now, you might say that's ridiculous, especially after we had a black president for eight years, but that's just because you probably have a good basic knowledge of history. I choose not to have that because basic knowledge of history is also something associated with whiteness. Did you also know that being a Christian, planning for the future, being on time, respecting authority, using proper English, politeness, and even looking aesthetically pleasing are also aspects of whiteness? I sure didn't. Everywhere I turn and everything I do to try to improve myself all seem to be aspects of whiteness according to that museum. I'm not making any of this up either. They published all this information back in 2020, but suddenly removed their infographic after getting backlash for it. And I'm willing to bet that the backlash probably came from white supremacists. I can't stand them for saying that I should be able to do all those things too without being accused of acting white. That's very racist of them. I mean, what next? Before you know it, they'll be running around in the freezing cold with bleach and MAGA hats trying to attack us, just like they attacked Jesse Smollett. <sighs> I'm just glad I found out the secret to being black so I could help you all and tell you all about it before it was too late. Don't be like me and do what I did. Avoid the list I just went through. Never try to improve yourself. Always blame everything on white people. Never hold yourself accountable for anything. And you can succeed at Black History Month this year. Share this video to spread the word. Together, we can stop whiteness and continue glorifying mediocrity, degeneracy, and maintain our status as underprivileged minorities who always seem to need white liberals to help us out.